Right, folks, in this video, I'm going to show you how to uh, connect to an Excel uh, workbook and load the sheets from within that workbook. So, what we're going to do is instead of uh, using table files and selecting the sheet, we're going to connect to the Excel spreadsheet. So, choose Excel files, we're going to choose a sheet.xlsx, and then once we have the connection, I'm just going to copy file path and I'm going to select variable so we're going to say pfile equals so we're going to use this uh, layer and we paste that so the next thing we need to do is actually connect to the tables using SQL tables so we're going to connect to each table and get the metadata from the Excel spreadsheet, Excel spreadsheet. so when we uh, click reload and what we're looking for is table name. So if we click add, you can see that we have this is the Excel spreadsheet here. We've got sheet A, B, C, and D. And we've got A, B, C, and D here. So if we go back into our script, we'll name this table. So we'll call it uh, Excel tables. And then we'll disconnect from the, the connection. So now what we're going to do is we want to say for all you equals zero to number of rows and the table name, which is Excel tables. And we'll say minus one. What we're going to do is we're just going to do debug this so we click on debug and we'll step through it we're going to step down to the connection so you see we've connected to it and we then disconnect it to it and now we're going to uh, go through the row so we're getting a row for each table which is each sheet so you see it says zero so we close that there we're only getting zero because we haven't said next. So if we after this we can say next, and then we'll debug again, just so you can see. So we'll step to it. So now we get our row number. So it's zero, and we step again. We get one, two, three, four. The script is finished. As you can see down here. So we close that. Now what we'll do is we want to load each of those tables so we'll create a variable so we'll say let uh, p excel sheets equals peak and we want our field name we know our field name is table name so we go back into our script and we'll type in single quotes table underscore name, comma, I, which is this here, so it's our row number, and then our table name, which is Excel tables. So now what we do is We'll, uh, we'll load the Excel spreadsheet now, so we go into table, desktop, and sheet. So we just click finish. Um, we get rid of this and we'll put star. We get rid of this here and we'll put in our variable. Clean this up a little bit. We're also going to add our sheet that we can use, so we'll do um, we have to put it in single quotes and just say as sheet. So we're adding a new uh, column to the, the data that we're bringing in. So 
we're going to table is A in this instance, so what we're going to change this to is Excel Sheets. So now we reload this. So it's not recognizing because we haven't got rid of the dollar. Um, so we click OK, we have to click OK four times. So we need to get rid of this dollar here from the because it's the hidden dollar when we take in the sheet. So we press Control and E, and we we'll add a punch chart to our variable from VXL sheets, and we want to get chart twenty six is the ASCII for dollar. So now we press Control and R to reload. We now have the fields that we want. So you can see we've got each sheet, sheet A, B, C, and D. The reason why this is handy is that if we want to go into the Excel spreadsheet and create more sheets, say E, F, G, save that. Then we go back into click view and we press Control and R to reload. It will load in our new our new sheets. Obviously, for click view for this to work uh, properly, each sheet must have the same field names. Um, otherwise, you could run into problems with uh, how how each table is linked. Um, another thing actually is if we create a new sheet, call it. This is my sheet and we reload the let's click save on that we'll just copy some of this data here this is the same structure click save now if we go into click view and press control and R to reload that we get an error message and the reason for that is is that it's it doesn't like the single quotes around the table or this is my sheet because there's spaces in it so how we get around that is go into click view, press control and E into the script and put a square back brackets around it, but that's still not gonna work and I'll, re I'll show you why. So if we press control and R to reload, it's because it still contains the the chart 39 or the single code. So we can go back into our script and we can add another forge chart. Which basically removes the character. And we'll say comment chart 29. Now if we reload the script, it should bring in our new sheet, even with the name, even though the name, even though the space is in the name of the sheet. Um, that's a, it's, it's real handy for bringing in uh, lots of different sheets. So I hope that helps. And I'll see you next video. Cheers.